This is a day in the life of a mechanical design engineer working in tech for a small robotic startup in the San Francisco Bay Area. But before showing you my day, how did I get here? In April of 2021, I graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering, but I saw this job opening on LinkedIn for a cool robotic startup. I applied on the website, reached out to other mechanical engineers on the team to get my resume seen, and after about a month of interviews, I got the offer. Here's my day. I'm a creature of habit and tend to make myself the same breakfast every morning. Usually the breakfast consists of scrambled eggs, a couple of pancakes, as well as a cup of Greek yogurt. While I eat breakfast, I'll watch some YouTube videos, then I take a shower and sit at my desk to start my workday. I usually work in a hybrid environment. Some days I work from home, other days I work in the office, and some days it's honestly just a mix of both. Before any of my meetings, the first thing I like to do is make a to-do list of all my tasks for the day. This honestly just helps me stay organized and get everything done on time. I'm very old fashioned and I just like to hand write my to-do lists. It's simple, effective and doesn't cost me anything. I then go through Slack and check my emails to see what's new for the day. My first meeting today is a daily stand-up that I have with my mechanical engineering team. We do this every day at 10 a.m. and we talk about what we did the day before and what we have planned for today. Each person on the team is in charge of designing a sub-assembly on the robot. If we're having issues with our designs or need to make decisions on the design's future, we discuss them here. Right after the meeting, I do some CAD work on SOLIDWORKS where I design a small prototype that I'm going to be 3D printing and using for testing on the robot later on today. Now while CADing, I tend to use my iPad to sketch out what's in my head before turning it into a 3D model on my laptop. Now you don't need to be an artist to make sketches, this just helps me explore different design concepts. It's meant to be fast and rough so I can focus on quickly creating design ideas. Now I have some hands on work I need to do today so to get that done, I decide to head to the office. When I go to the office, there are a few essentials I always carry with me in my bag. First, we have my massive 17-inch Lenovo ThinkPad. It's not the most portable, but it's a beast when it comes to SOLIDWORKS. Next, we obviously have my mouse, since you can't CAD with a trackpad. I also need my trusty caliper and, of course, an X-Acto knife. That's it for my work bag. I like to keep it simple. I also like to take my gym bag with me. It has my jiu-jitsu gi and equipment, since I'll probably go train at the gym right after work. Now, I don't have to commute to work every day because I only go when I need to, which is honestly a blessing. That's because I live in San Jose and the office is in Redwood City, so it takes me about 25 minutes to drive there on a good day. Sometimes with traffic, it can take a little longer, up to 15 minutes during rush hour. There always seems to be an accident on the highway, but thankfully today was a nice and short drive. When I get to the office, I put my stuff down on my desk and head to the 3D printer to print the design I was working on earlier today. 3D printing is honestly my best friend when it comes to quick and easy prototyping. Usually when I'm at the office, I'm moving around, either looking for something, building something, or testing something, and I hardly even sit down on my desk. I usually save all my laptop work for when I'm working from home for the most part. Now before continuing on with the rest of my workday, I just realized I never really told you what the startup I work for does. The startup is called Serve Robotics and you make self-driving robots that deliver food. For example, if you're hungry and want to order food using an app like Uber Eats, instead of having a human go to the restaurant, pick up your food, drive over to your house and give it to you, a self-driving robot will do that job instead, which can end up being cheaper and honestly better for the environment. Anyways, back to work. For the project I'm working on designing in this rover, I need to take a lot of things into account, like what material I'll use, how it will attach to its surroundings, how it will be mounted, etc. I decided to look at some of our other rovers for some inspiration. As I'm taking it apart, I see what worked in the past and what could be improved on. I write down some notes, take some measurements with my trusty caliper, and take some pictures for things to keep in mind in my design. As I'm working on this rover, I realize I'm missing a couple tools, so I hunt around the office to find them. Found you. 
I finish up my notes on the rover so I can refer to them later on when designing. It's now about 1pm and I start to feel a little hungry, so I walk over to a restaurant nearby to grab some food. As I head back into the office, I check on my 3D print to see how far along it came and it looks like it still has a few hours to go. Looks like it probably won't be ready until tomorrow, but you know what, that's fine. Uh, I needed it to do some mechanical testing, but I'll just plan to do that tomorrow instead of today. Now, although normally I barely do desk work when I'm at the office, I was too busy catting this morning and didn't get much time to work on a presentation that I'll be presenting to the industrial team a little later. So I spent about an hour or so working on that. I usually tend to interface a lot with the industrial design team, or we also call them the ID team for short, because on my mechanical engineering team, I'm honestly mainly concerned with making the parts function and move, while the ID team wants it to look as beautiful as possible. So I'll come up with a mechanical design that I'm honestly proud of, they'll tell me it's the ugliest thing they've ever seen, and I'm heartbroken. No, I'm just kidding. In my meeting with them, they just gave me feedback on the design, usually the ID team has a certain set of requirements they want, and us on the ME team, we have another set of requirements and we try to find a compromise when working together. Like a design team, they're obviously concerned with things like color, shape, and the overall aesthetic, which is, you know, important, whereas I'm more concerned with material, durability, heat transfer, ease of assembly, and ease of manufacturing. So yeah, finding a middle ground can sometimes be a little tricky, but we made some progress this meeting, so I'm proud. I take a little break after this meeting and go grab some snacks from our office kitchen. Honestly, free snacks are some of my favorite things about this office. After that, I work on some CAD based on some notes I took earlier when it's assembling a part of the rover, but SolidWorks isn't really doing what I wanted to do for some reason. I'm just getting a ton, a ton of errors, which is annoying, but you know what, it's fine. I'll try again later or maybe discuss it with my team tomorrow morning. I think today was honestly pretty productive. You know, some other days are usually not this productive because I'd have meetings all day and don't get enough time to do actual work. Anyways, I look at the time and it's like 6 p.m. right now and traffic is looking horrendous on Google Maps. It'll probably take me like, I don't know, 45 minutes to drive to the gym right now and my jujitsu class starts at 6.45 p.m. So I might be a little late, but oh well, uh, I'll drive over as fast as I can. I get to the gym and the first class today is a no-gi class and the second class of the day is the gi class. When I say gi and no-gi, I'm referring to what you wear during class. For gi, you wear a jacket with a collar, loose-fitting pants, and a rank-colored belt. For nogi, you wear a compression t-shirt with rank color and shorts. In the nogi class, I spent a lot of time sparring with my training partner as I'm training for a competition that's happening soon. In my first fight, we both start standing, we get to the ground, and I try to keep my opponent under control. As he tries to get up and escape, I sweep him to the ground, so that now I'm on top. He tries to trap my leg, but I take it out. Now while controlling him, I move around him to get his back, he tries to escape, but I don't let him as I finish the fight with a choke. Honestly, work can sometimes get stressful, so doing a sport like Jiu Jitsu really helps alleviate that stress. I think the reason I'm so drawn to this sport is because of how similar it is to physics and the fundamentals of mechanical engineering. You see, to submit an opponent, you need to choke them or get them in a joint lock, like the armbar for example. This is an armbar, and it's simple physics where you have a lever and a fulcrum. If you draw a free body diagram of the situation, fill in the appropriate forces and find the net torque about the elbow, we get this equation. That can help you figure out how much torque you need to produce to truly break someone's arm. Ideally, no one actually breaks anything in class because they just tap out. Honestly, such a fun and humbling sport. I then change into my gi for the next class. It starts with a warm up and we then get a training partner and practice different types of chokes that you can do when you're controlling someone's back. It's one of the most basic moves in Jiu Jitsu. Afterwards, I leave class around 8.45pm to drive home. I get home, take a shower and cook some dinner. I usually have dinner with my roommates and we kind of just talk about our days with each other. I've known them since my first year of university. One of them right now works at Apple and the other at Meta. I finish dinner, get to my room, set up my YouTube studio, and start filming a YouTube video from like 10.30pm to 12am. The house is pretty quiet at this time, so it's usually the best time for me to film. I then become a total waste man and spend the next 30 minutes scrolling through TikTok. 
I'm not proud of it, but this always happens. After being productive for a while, my mind just has to make me procrastinate. At this point, I've just accepted that procrastination is just inevitable sometimes. I'm usually in bed by 12.30 or 1am, so I'm ready to start a brand new day of building robots, making videos, and training tomorrow.